Capcom presents... Capcom Backwards is Mock Pack! Did you figure that out all by yourself, or did someone hand you a cheat sheet? I was told by the executive producer Hiroki I didn't see his last name. Well, producer Yoshiaki Hirabayashi told me that one. Ah. Very, very nice of him. All these people, I'm not even gonna bother saying their names. Soji Seita! Then there's Hiroshi Yugen, Makoto Fukui, and Toshihiko Tsuda. Tsuda, yeah. What's the music? This is our energy as usual. I'm Max. I'm Dan, aka Shinya Wada. And welcome to Let's Play Reading Japanese Names Simulator 2016. I thought it was going to be Reading Japanese East Name Simulator 2017. Depends on when this comes out. This game came out in 2016. Well, the remake of the game came out in 2016. You guys might, if you've been on the channel long enough, you probably know we played Resident Evil 6 like last year or sometime like that. Yeah, we had a little problem with the last portion of Jake's campaign onwards. Yeah, and that's my fault. No, not not really. The uh, oh, we have, we blew up by the way. Uh, just in case you were wondering. Uh, Game's the, over. Yeah, the, it's it's all over, guys. Uh, the last portion of uh the third campaign, the footage got corrupted, and then for the fourth campaign, for the entirety of it, there was an audio issue on Dan's end. So basically, for bo because of stuff on both our ends, we, we didn't finish it. And then we never really got around to finishing it. Like, I don't, I don't quite remember why. I think we just uh, kept, I think we just kept putting it off more or less. But then it, I discovered that there was this HD version for the Xbox One, so we're playing that now. So now you can also see Dan's uh, view. If you're wondering, yep. right now we're doing the tutorial. So, yep, which is single player. Which means you're gonna be seeing Max's screen the whole time, right? Yeah, maybe both of ours, just so that people get used to there being two screens. But it, we're, we're basically going through the tutorial. And also, we turned brightness all the way up to 40, and I'm starting to somewhat regret that, unless the helicopter is supposed to be blinding us. Yes, the helicopter is supposed to be blinding the shit out of you. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot that helicopter with my handgun. It'll work. I think. <laughs> Maybe. Only I'll one keep of my one spare bullet. Only, Just in case. Only one of my eyes is visible at all times. Now, want to know something interesting about this area? Hold what about it? Hold back on the control Come stick. On. It's not over. Uh, back. or any direction that is not forward. What? What? What the hell? Leon already knows where he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, this is surprising to me because I I did not know this. <laughs> Also, do you have subtitles on? I do not. Uh, I th think we gotta pause to do that real quick. Yeah, and I don't think they'll allow us to pause yet. You're not getting off that easy. Come on. I know we're saying. Uh, I know that uh, Leon's saying to Helena something like, "Don't die. Keep coming with me. We need to repopulate the world." Oh wait. Press back. Select. Let's see. Change the game settings. Screen settings? No, screen settings is just brightness. Game settings. Nope. Game. Display. Okay, game settings and the first option. Display subtitles. Alright. Uh, while we're in here, let's go through a couple things real quick. Uh, the game tag. Change laser sight color! Aw, oh, shit! Yeah. Oh, I should probably change that to. Uh... I'm gonna keep mine on red, actually, just to be safe, because otherwise. Because blue doesn't seem like it would show up very well in all this. Okay. Well, uh, I'm gonna keep most things normal. You know, I'm gonna change mine to green. Control settings, set aiming controls. Right, keep that the same. Ooh, set dominant hand. Keep dominant hand. Oh, apparently. Oh, you know how uh, your phone thing is in the, either the lower left or lower right. We had an issue with this uh, in our original recording. And now we can actually keep it on one side. Well, basically, if you have it on keep dominant hand from cover position, that means it won't change. But the other option is whenever you go into cover, it, like, returns to default or whatever, or something. For Le for player one, it's always on the right side. For player two, it's always on the left side. All right, You're, well, I'm uh, going to set mine to always left. I don't think you can do that. I think it's just... It, it, I think after cutscenes, it'll it'll return to default. <laughs> Have fun with that. Also you, can also, you can change between having your targeting reticle be a dot or a laser sighting. I'll have to look at that in a moment. Right now, I'm gonna open a door. Oh, I've actually been uh, just kind of doing all that. It'd yeah. Be a waste to give up now. It'd be a waste to give up now. Boosh. Boosh. 
And... Kaha! <laughs> Triple perfection. That gets me a gold star, right? I like how for some reason there was a quick time event to, like, pick up this stick. Also, why doesn't Leo just, like, put Helena down for a moment? Because he's afraid if he puts her down, she'll die. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work like that. I'm pretty sure she has just a chance of dying while hung across his shoulders as she does lying on the ground. Eh, you never know. Now I press back to go forwards again! Also, poor bastard here. He's dead. Oh, well, you're a bit ahead of me, I think. I might be using your footage! Really now? Just because you're a little bit ahead Let's of me. Because I was standing there uh, adjusting settings for a bit. We're almost through this. Yeah. I'm probably going to spend this next part adjusting the settings more on my end. And we get a gratuitous ass shot. Those are the best kind of ass shots. Yeah. Gratuitous. It's why the ultimate sandwich is such a great mu music video. The ultimate sandwich? Ninja sex party. Oh, okay. It's It sounded very much like Let's something they would break. Make. Let's take a break from me carrying you. Okay, everything is actually okay. I have my pistol. I can shoot any helicopters that come. Kid in here somewhere. Find a healing I... item. It makes me sick seeing good soldiers die like this. Yeah, it really sucks, doesn't it? Ah, there are drugs in here. I must collect the drugs. I must collect a drug. E Yoink. Ah, it's a green drug. Those are my favorite drugs, except the ones that are purple. Are I like red drugs. Hunnigan. Good to hear you're okay. Where's Helena? She's dead. She's not doing too good. She needs medical attention. Do you have any herbs left? A few, but I'm not sure they'll help. Okay, listen. Just follow my instructions. I know how to mix herbs, Helena. So I can place play my tablet case now. All right. Hold on, Helena. All right, time to give you some herbs. Too many good agents have died here today. You're not getting added to that list. Leon. Eat this herb, and you will like it. Oh shit! This guy wants to brawl, but I only play melee. Um, okay. You what? two have fun with that. I'm just gonna shoot the shit out of him. Damn it, out of ammo. Out of ammo! Aha! Yep. Uh -huh. Fortunately, the quick time event was beyond easy. Oh, I have to yep. do it again. Match on the button and wriggle the stick. And also press the trigger to take out your knife. And dead. So am I, gonna, am, I gonna, me. am I gonna like take that back or can't let your guard down for a second. I think <laughs> I'm just leaving my knife stuck inside him. Okay. Back Which, to I am now saving healing. Helena. Yep. Yep, back to healing my friend. Heal Helena. Wake up! How do you feel? How do you feel? With my fingers! Okay, then. What are you doing? You need to get out of there. Now. We're heading to the quad tower. What? No, it's too dangerous. There are BSAA agents there with survivors. I can't abandon them. All right. Then let me help. I'll direct you through the safest route. Yeah, this let's just steal you. his hand clip. He's not going to need it where he's going. This I game is in 60 FPS. I totally just noticed this. To that in a pinch. What was it in last one? Pretty sure last one it was 30 FPS. Yeah, it the, seems to run a lot smoother here now. Yeah, de definitely. I, maybe it's just because, you know, I I grew up... Like, I started playing games long, long, long before 60 FPS was a thing. So I, I whenever I see something at 60 FPS, it looks unnatural. It just looks unnaturally smooth. And I'm just like, oh god, what is this? Oh shit! 
Which is weird, especially because, like, originally people would, like, I remember people would say that something is 60 FPS when it isn't. So I'm used to seeing 30 FPS and thinking it's 60. And then seeing 60 and thinking it was 120 or something? The, that is legit how I think of it. Like, oh my god, is this one point? Also, apparently that plane crashed into this building very close to us. Oh, you must be a bit ahead of me now. Yeah. Oh! Oh, just allow me to uh, RKO this zombie bitch. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last time, but uh... You know you can aim and, and walk at the same time? Oh my god! Old jokes! I like how apparently the zombies are like super strong. They're coming out of the woodwork. But they're super fragile. Oh, Leon just made a pun. What do you oh, mean? Never mind, he didn't. That was not wood like I thought it was. He was like, they're coming out of the woodwork! And I thought he said that when a, when a zombie busted through some like wood. But it was actually metal, so. They're, no. coming out, they're coming out of the metal work, stupid. You can't blame him. Okay, is, how, is, oh. there, is there a way to, like, sprint or run? Uh, hold A and move in the direction you want to run. Well, it's a good thing you let me know that just now, because, uh... We're be You're we not now dead, are you? No, but we now need to run. Yeah, I'm running right now. That's a lot of explosions. Running, 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 running. Oh wait, I oh, okay. <laughs> so uh I, I may have been rapidly tapping it, so Leon was doing a little dance. I said hold, not tap. I know, but I thought for this section the game wanted me to, to, to tap. Because oh. usually usually when you're like doing something like this, the game would want you to rapidly tap it. I'm just Excuse gonna me. I'm just gonna assume unless a button prompt shows up, I'm just supposed to hold forward and hey. Shit. Yep. Zombie! Wait, who's flying this thing. damn thing? Uh, a person, I think. No. He's dead. No one's flying this thing. Oh, you, now you somehow got ahead of me, apparently. Oh my Man, god. That's a destroyed sign. Fortunately, I know how to fly a helicopter. Whee! I know how to do this. I've had training in button mashing. So, real quick, what games was Leon in? As, uh, like, as like a main guy? He was in Resident Evil 2. He was one of the main protagonists alongside Claire Redfield. And he was the main protagonist of Resident Evil 4. So he's been in the even number ones until now, and it's Chris for the odd number ones. Uh, you could say that. But Chris was 1, 3, and, and 5, correct? No, Chris was 1 in 5. 3 was uh, Claire Redfield again, I think. Oh, well, it was still Redfield. Yeah. So, close enough. But Claire Redfield was also in 2, so... No, and... wait. It was Jill in Resident Evil 3. I'm sorry. Yeah, Jill's Chris's partner, so close enough. Yeah, so she's been in 1, 3, and 5. So basically, the odd numbers are the Chris Saga, and then the even numbers are the Leon Saga, except in this case, the Leon Saga is also, like, only one quarter of it. Probably the longest. Along quarter. with a Chris Saga. It's the double, the Leon and Chris Saga. It's, uh, and Jake. Le Le Leon versus Chris, Dawn of Justice. Uh, I, I preferred, er, Chris Redfield Civil War. I mean, to be fair, Captain America was played by someone named Chris. Yeah. Are you sure about that, actually? Chris Evans. Oh, right. I don't know who I was thinking of. I'm pretty sure that's the thing. Yeah. You all right? Okay, it's time t yeah. for me to end the intro sequence. Me too. Let's get over here and leave. Something doesn't feel right. So just just a quick question. To clarify, five and six out of what's been released so far are the only co-op Resident Something Evils, right? Feel right? Yes. This annoys well, me greatly. There's this Resident Evil 5, which we played through, but there's also Operation Raccoon City, which it's more of a spin-off than a main series game, I would think. 
Ah, okay. So what you're saying is if I ever want to play the other Resident Evil games for the channel, it's gotta be solo. Pretty much. Boo. Uh... <laughs> yeah. And, and let me tell you, it is not as good as what you're seeing Back right here. More. Well, but... <laughs> I, I say that, but I mean, it's not something you're used to. Okay, I was about to say, is it? don't people say Resident Evil 6 is like the worst or something? Yes. I realize I said that incorrectly. V very incorrectly. Ladies and gentlemen, Resident Evil 6, according to Dan, the best Resident Evil game. The Longest Night, complete the tutorial. There, um... The Resident Evil 4 is where this all started, this kind of action. Yeah, where Except it's like the third the third person shooter. Yes. And then uh, 1 through 3, and I believe any like extra games in between those three, they were the sort of like, uh, each time you went into a new room or like a new part of the room, the camera angle changed and you were stuck with that angle. Yes. Yeah, that seems like something I would, like, personally and you know how not you enjoy. Only carry, you know how you could only carry 9 items in Resident Evil 5? Yeah. In Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, you could only carry 6 at a time. Jeez, yeah, I, I don't think I would enjoy those ones as much. Four I might enjoy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, for, because... For, for four onward. Four is actually the best of this kind of series because in four you actually have an attache case and you can manage your inventory like that because everything can be fitted in. In Resident Evil 5, it reduced it to one slot, one item. You can carry up to nine items. Also, uh, now campaign select. So, we have Leon. We have Chris. We have uh, Jake. And we have a crossbow. And my a spider. My favorite character. All right, are you now ready for Leon's campaign? I'm ready for Leon's campaign. Shall we begin? I shall start this and I shall uh, send you the invite. All right, difficulty normal, screen mode, single, I guess. Network selection, excuse me. Oh, do I not have my network? Huh? I have a network, what's, hang on. Give me a moment. I'll wait for you. Cause apparently it's saying I don't have a network. <clears throat> <coughs> Oh, wait. RE6 is at 93%. I don't think it's actually ready to go oh, online. Oh, it's not ready for you. It's not ready to go online. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Once more with feeling. <laughs> we'll be back in a moment. Network Ready? selection, Xbox Live! Woohoo! <laughs> Xbox, stop listening! It said, unable to slower from here. Unable to slower from- How did it get slower? Unable- I'm, I'm sorry, Dan, I'm unable to slower. Because I gotta go fast. Are you able to quicker? Yeah, I gotta go fast. Objective go setting- fast. Objective settings. Dan? Yes? Serious players only! Yes! Uh, Agent Hun settings don't allow. Alright, partner join private. Alright. Start the game. June 29, 2013. Tall Oaks, USA. I have a gun. I'm gonna shoot the camera. Oh no, he was eaten. Stay where you are. Also, I think I can hear your game through the uh, Skype a little bit. Uh, Mr. President. What about now? Don't think so. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you. If you don't shoot him, I'm gonna shoot him. Okay. Like, can't right say I've now. Can't say I've never wanted to kill the president. 
Can't say we never did. Any day now! So Leon's been in how many games? Two before this one? Yes. How has he not realized that the zombie's not just going to turn around and become friendly? Uh, he was clearly waiting for that. I know. It's not my fault. I also think he was in a movie. <laughs> Two games and a movie. What are you talking about? Yeah. He was even a mentor to the guys that were, were actually the main characters. He was like, like number one, headshots. Don't number two, you bit, you're bit, you're bitten, I'll you're done. Really? Yeah. I know my name. Are these two like immune then? No. Yes. Because I'm pretty sure one thing that can happen to you in the game is you get bitten, but you like wrestle out of it after get, being bitten and you keep going. She's been with the yeah. Since last year. Is it just like the bite wasn't deep enough? Uh, it's actually gameplay and story segregation stuff. Oh. Like just because you're bitten in game doesn't mean you'll turn. So it's like if there's a Walking Dead game where you could get bitten like fifty thousand times as long as you got away quick enough, you're fine. But then in a cutscene, you get nibbled on the arm and you're dead. Yeah. I don't think that's ever happened in a Walking Dead game, but like just as an example. Uh, there's a. I think it's a. In the t in the yeah, it's a mobile game. They're called The Walking Dead, and your players can actually get killed by walkers and. They'll be back fine at the next mission. Oh, okay. Kind of like Left 4 Dead. Yep. But Left 4 Dead, we're all immune. Well, carriers. I mean, to be fair, carriers does not mean... No carriers immune, they're not, you know, mutually exclusive. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might have something. Roger that. I'll map out the safest access route. Keep your radio. We're, well, discussing, we're discussing every zombie apocalypse game except Resident Evil. Pretty much. Well... It's spawned from a Resident Evil topic. Also, we, we, we did not acknowledge anything that just happened to that cutscene after the president died. You because explain, the you president was the only one that mattered. You want to explain basically uh, the rundown of what happened there in case people were too busy listening to us? Okay, let's see. President tried to eat me. You shot him. You're then, right. And I explained that so we so need to go to the cathedral to talk about shit, and Hunnigan is confirming that the campus we're on, the school, is completely and utterly destroyed. Alright, I have three questions. Okay. The first question, why was the president of the United States of America on this school campus? This was where he was going to confess everything about what he knew about Raccoon City and everything. Alright, uh, number two. Who is this person? <laughs> I would say that's the person that the president it ate whenever he turned. All Probably right. another one of his agents like Leon. Alright, and number three. Why can we not run? Because this is the introduction cutscene of chapter one. We're not allowed to do anything I except gonna, walk. I thought you were going to say because this is the office. You're not allowed to run in the principal's office. Well, that well, this isn't the principal's You're office. Tell me this is the library. The also, I'm blocking, so, you from, I'm blocking you from leaving. Well, I'm I'm out of the library now. I can yell all I want. Okay, ah, well, look, look, it's um Ben Franklin, uh, William Shakespeare. Lots of people seem to, lots of famous people seem to have the same bald on top, lots of hair everywhere else uh, hairstyle going like for them. This could really happen. This here seems this, like it's the principal's office. This what is I, the principal's office. Or the or the dean slash headmaster, whatever term would be used. Yeah, and it looks like he's dead. Well, we're gonna have to vote for a new dean slash headmaster. I was gonna say, well, school's out. Let's go. Oh, oh, oh. School's out. We have we have, we have, our, we have our magic summer. summer. We have our magic uh, arrow giving cell phone. And you know what that means. Are you ready? Da, da, it da, means... da. Oh. <laughs> it means we can dance if we yes. want to. We can leave our friends behind. Do the truffle shuffle. Wait, I'm not fat enough to do the truffle shuffle. Excuse me, room service? Excuse me. Oh, hang on. <clears throat> hey, 
I'd like a cheeseburger and fries. And a small Coke. You can never forget the soda. Or if you want to be the, uh, the dieting American, I would like a large number three with a Diet Coke. No, it's, I would like a large number three, two, two number two side dishes, a number five for dessert, and a Diet Coke. To go. Small. Small. <laughs> it's funny because diet... Uh, whoa, 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 I can run now. I can run now. Run, my friend. Run, run. to me. Oh, I'm, Ivy University. I'm running away. I'm running away. <laughs> okay, I'm coming. All right, uh, but, but yeah, uh, isn't it weird how, like, diet soda, almost every brand of diet soda is actually less healthy than the actual soda? You like, not necessarily in terms of head. weight gain, but just for head. your health. Got it. Weirder. Weird how that works, huh? Yeah. Whoosh. Boom, boom.